You will die, you will never make it. Does that sound like beatboxing to you? I'm gonna have to change my shirt like four times in this video. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hello soap lovers and welcome to another Adventurous Monday blah 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 blah. Hello soap lovers and welcome to another Adventurous Monday with soap. So this Monday is the final video of my summer tie-dye series. I finally got the name right. Thank you very much. You should be really proud. So, as you can see, I have one of my first tie-dye shirts on. Um, and I'm going to show you all of them in this video. I'm going to tell you what I think about them. So, this is the first one I made. This was in Series 1. Uh, this is the spray paint tie-dye. So, if you remember, you can see it very nicely there. Lovely, lovely. So maybe you remember this one, maybe you don't. I don't know, I think it came out pretty cool. I don't know if I would consider it tie-dye, really. I mean, maybe I need some more colors to make it tie-dye, but I think it's pretty good so far. Sure, yeah, I don't know. Okay, next shirt. First shirt change, here we go. All right, this one is one of the classic tie-dye ones. I show you the back, too. Pretty nice, I don't know why I'm holding this. You might recall that um, in the video when I made this tie-dye shirt, I told you that my last tie-dye shirt that I tried to tie-dye classically came out completely white. Um, so I'm actually pretty proud about this. This is a pretty nice shirt. Nice and tie-dye, nice and summery. I think it came out pretty nice. I think it's good. Next one. All right, this is the next one. Here's the back. This is like the swirl one I made. I think it's pretty good. It's, uh, I like the colors and it actually came out really, really nice. I'm, I'm really impressed that the classic tie-dye actually relatively worked. When I wash these out, like in the sink to wash like the color out after I let them sit for like a day, it was, um, my hands were like blue for a week. It was terrific. Well, look at this one, it's beautiful. Now I got one more to show you coming up. All right, and this is the last one. This is the Sharpie tie-dye. If you remember, I put like tennis balls in the thing. I think this one actually might be my favorite one. It like, like there's, I know there's still a lot of white on it, but I think if I just had colored it more, it would have come out pretty nice. And the rubbing alcohol like bled the colors and made it look really cool. So I really like this one. I don't know, I think this is my favorite. All right, so now that I've shown you all of my shirts, um, let me know in the comment section below which one you like the best um, out of the four of them. So we got Sharpie tie-dye, classic tie-dye swirl, classic tie-dye dots, or spray paint tie-dye. And if you missed any of the videos of me making them, I will leave the links for all three of the tie-dye shirts that I made in the description box below. That's all I have for this week's video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to go down and give it a thumbs up while you're down there. Be sure to check me out on Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. All the information for that is in the but the uh, in the description box below, along with my email if you want to send me any ideas or anything you want to see me do. And as always, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every Adventurous Monday. I'll see you guys next week. Stay clean.